Okay, I got this on eBay. Um, it was as is. This was, the lens was broken. Uh, this was on it, but I pulled that off. Um, anyway, I thought it might still work, uh, so long as I plugged a battery in it. But I'm coming up with two problems. First, the LED does not, uh, or, sorry, the LCD screen does not turn on properly. Um, I did buy a new battery for it and everything. But the LCD does not turn on. Uh, there are two LCD screens here. As I turn this on, you'll see the green one power up. Let me see that turned on. Beep. There's the green. So the green one's on the far left. You can kind of see there. Um, the other LCD is on the right hand of the screen. Um, another interesting thing. So since the right LCD does not d display, I don't know what it's telling me. So if I try to play or if I try to record something right now, it just says that. Don't know what that means. It beeps at me, beep, 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 and it buzzes on me. So I, I tried to take this apart. And then I went online, looked at the um, the filing information with the government, and realized I likely need to pull off this side first. So we're going to try to do that. Um, I thought it was doing something great when I was able to get this off, but I destroyed it in the process. Um, I'm going to work on getting this piece out. All right, since this is garbage anyway, well, parts for parts, um, I've kind of just went at it pretty hard. Uh, and it looks like I was able to pry this up. I, I applied some heat using this little heat gun. Pried it up with a razor blade because there's nothing else that I had that was thin enough to get underneath it. Uh, now I'm just going to run it real quick with maybe a piece of, of plastic. I'll see if I can pop this thing out and I'll see how that works. Okay, yeah, that seemed to work. I did hear a loud snapping sound. Uh, but it looks like we got everything we want. Um, looks like the clips are here on this end. So there may be a simpler way to get them out other than just slamming my... In hindsight, what I may have... I don't know. What I may have done was maybe drill the hole through here and pull it out um, instead of prying against this you can see the little green residue left by this so it was a tight fit what I think I'm gonna do now is just start unscrewing and unbolting stuff okay there are three bolts um, here look at this thing uh, yeah you can see a hole there hole over here and then a hole down here three bolts looks like that's what takes the the lens of the camera out um, so there's a padded piece there oh, come on now focus up so yeah I saw the padded piece and then it looks like it's just attached here um, I'm gonna pry it off with a, with a pair of plastics this tool I was able to pry the camera out uh, it was quite simple just to unhook okay moving along okay you need to be very careful getting this out there are three pin or three bolts one two three right there very small um, I'd like to use the right tool for the job uh, Phillips heads but um, I ended up using a flathead that, that fit a little bit better. Um, and then using these tweezers to pull this sticky tape off. And then underneath it looks like I've just got to pry off a little ribbon. Okay, got it off. This is the back edge of it. Uh, this is clipped in there. Oops, sorry. This is clipped in right there, it looks like. Uh, it was pretty simple this board out okay I think I've got to the next step um, so this battery box little holder thing right here I think is being held in by two screws and let's see if I can get the light so you can see a little bit better should be able to see that I can see it on my phone because it's so Okay, there's a screw there. 
and there's one actually right there. You can see that through the hole. Come on now. Focus. Man. So, uh, but this is just kind of a, a, a tape. So I'm going to poke a hole through here to get to that screw and then screw them. I think those are the only two screws holding it in that one. And then this one back here. You can't really see them too yet. Come on. Anyway, let's see. There it is. Can't really see it. Alright, we're gonna try to pull those two out and get this battery box removed. Okay, we had a little surprise with the battery box. As you can see, I poked two holes in this. One down the bottom and one up towards the top in addition to this hole that was already accessible. So there were three bolts right here. And then once I got them out, it just kind of took a little bit of work to get it out. But now I'm on to the LED screen, it looks like, um, along with some other stuff. There's some, um, let's see. I'm going to figure out what else I want to get out of here. Oh, the USB plug. Let's pull that out of the way first. Looks like it's just one little bolt right there. Okay, so that little bolt was actually one of the harder ones to get out because my screwdriver was too long to fit in properly. Um, so just to be aware of that, I'm going to see what it takes to remove this now. Okay, so the piece that I just um, unbolted, you see the bolt mark or the bolt down there. Uh, it just slides over to the side. Um, this is it. So it kind of pivoted over that way. Um, it was glued in right here. Uh, now I'm not sure where I'm going to go. I think I'm going to try to pull out this. There's a little rubber grommet piece here. So you can see right there. I'm going to try to pull it out because I think it is obscuring my screws. Um, that come through here. I'm going to try that real quick. Okay, I was correct. Bumping out those grommets does expose my screw, my bolt. I don't know if these are considered screws or bolts, but it does. Problem is, I just freaking dropped them on the floor and I can't find it now. So, hopefully that's not super necessary. Let's see. Look at that big boy. It seems like it's not straight. Yeah, I think it's. But. And it works. Yeah, so I didn't really recognize what was going on, but I guess taking out those two big long bolts allows this to come out now. Hello. And I did, as I mentioned, probably bust up. Some of this trying to get that stupid lens off when I didn't, I don't know that I needed to. Yeah, I didn't because, so this would have come off as a unit. And then uh, to get the camera off, it looks like I just have those three bolts there. Um, and I noticed that this, this piece was coming off after prying, prying from this side, yes. Prying from this side on this. So, I don't know if I want to pry that out or what. Let's, let me see how that comes out. Oop, oop. Yeah, let me look a little closer. Okay, so the USB charging port uh, fits in here in a rather unique way. And so I'm just going to move that to the side and point with my little tweezers here. So in here, it slides in through here. Right? But also, like, has little tabs right here. These little tabs, I think it, like, sits on in a weird way. And then this all kind of goes back to, I don't know how it's going to go back together, but it, I don't know. Because I think there's some, yeah, there's some sticky tape. Yep. 
stick of tape right there. So there was some tape here holding this piece on. I think there's tape here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off, I guess. Okay, onto my LED board. If it didn't have problems then, it does for sure now. Um, I was trying to peel it up. I knew I had problems, so I wasn't like super careful. And I went ahead and broke this entire piece off. So I'm gonna see how I remove this connector. Focus a little better. I'm gonna see how I remove this. Um, but what in peeling this thing off, so first of all, the LED screen I think has some adhesive on it. And then also there's some adhesive right there. So there's an adhesive right here that holds this little foam pad. Um, ah, interesting. So there's no LED, these are just LED lights that light up the green. This over here, this is either green or red, right? Um, so that's only LED lights that do that. This LED screen is what I need. Let me see how to remove that. Okay, so it turns out this is one of those flip-up style connectors. That basically, let me see how I got it. Put my finger on it. Already broken, so I'm not super careful, and I'm using one hand to do this. But there we go. Okay, so that flips up. This slides out. Come on there. Okay, and that is how you remove it. At least this board. So the board would come out. But that leaves our LED screen, which I have already broken in here. Um, I imagine that the, to get this thing out, you'd need um, some heat. So I'm going to use a heat gun just to get the rest of it out. But in the end, this is this is garbage. I'll keep record of what this says on it. So maybe if I can find a part, that'd be awesome. But I doubt I will be able to. It says 02092-MF1 on that top line. And then there's a dash A on the bottom there. And let's see what we need to do to get this out. Okay, got the LED out. Um, just use some heat, and this glued down just around the edges. So I think, I mean, for the most part, that is a teardown of my Rilo that was non-functional. Hopefully, you can use this information to fix yours. Um, yeah, I don't think it was necessary to have pulled off the lens like I did and broke it. Um, but it's very important to get the to open up the side that says Rilo on it first. That I think is the key. Uh, let me just pull this out. Yeah, that was this side, right? So this side says Rilo. There are literally, I think, just these two knobs that are holding it on. So if you can get in there and pry it out uh, efficiently enough, it should just pop right through.